Hi, my name is Miss Matthews, and this is how I made a pendulum painting. It all started the other day. I was bored at home with nothing to do, so I decided, hey, I'll just download TikTok. As I was scrolling, I saw this viral trend called pendulum painting. It was so cool. I thought, hey, I could try that. First off, a pendulum is a weight hung from a fixed point so that it can swing freely back and forward, especially a rod with a weight at the end that regulates the mechanism of a clock. If you've ever seen a grandfather clock, then you've seen a pendulum. The thing swinging back and forth at the base is keeping perfect time. Every time it moves to the left and back to the right, that's one second, and that's what keeps the clock running. There are some important factors when we look at pendulums. One, the length of the string. Two, the mass. And three, the period. In order to create a pendulum, you must have a mass, or what physicists call a bob. It has to have significant weight in compared to the string. The string should be virtually massless. Period of a pendulum is just the time it takes to swing all the way to the other side and back. Once it completes one rotation, that's one period. And the graph on the right is Lucidu patterns. As you can see, they're patterns with different types of ratios. The top left shows a one-to-one -one ratio, which creates a circle. But right next to it, a one-to-two ratio looks like a figure eight. As you go through these ratios, you get really cool patterns. The reason we can create these cool patterns is because there's two periods. There's a period in the Y direction and a period in the X direction, moving at different paces. In order to create a pendulum that swings both in the X and Y direction, we needed to look up the width of a ceiling tile. One of the ceiling tiles has a width of 61 centimeters, or 30.5 if you go halfway across. We also looked up from the top of the ceiling to the bottom of the floor and took off about 20 centimeters. That way we can get our L of Y. 